Okay, should, we, should we just start off with your um, victory on the weekend for the southern area? Um, talk to me about like how you felt it, felt it went, and uh, yeah, emotions um, afterwards. The fight was good. Um, started off in the first round, obviously sticking to the jab and whatnot. Um, second round, it went a bit, went a bit wrong. We went off the plan. It got drawn into a fight. But he had a bit of success in the second round. And it kind of went like that throughout the, the rest of the fight. Um, I got a ten off in the corner from my coach, um, but I felt like I was just getting stronger and stronger as the, the fight went on. So I, I didn't really mind kind of staying there and having that little bit of a fight. Um, I felt I was having a bit of success on the inside as well as the outside. Um, and it, obviously it showed. What, so what was the tactics before, now you can obviously say it, but the fight's yeah, ended, but what was the tactics kind of building up to the... Building up, we wanted to get the first four rounds um, under our belt, so the plan was to just jab, keep him nice and long, stay away um, for the first four, get the points up, and then obviously if you win the first four, you've only got to win uh, two more out of six, so that was the plan. Um, obviously plans don't go, don't go well sometimes. Um, in, obviously he put the pressure on and it went out the window a bit but managed to get a win so Adam what's your, um, your kind of thoughts on it? Um, yeah I ended up more of a fan and well, I'm Colin's manager I don't train him but yeah. I was screaming mid off in the crowd yeah, well, I think we would catch it on the video like here oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I lost my voice and all sorts but yeah Connor can box better than that but yeah yeah, um, it was a good performance, very exciting. I don't want anything to do with yeah. that. The um, thing with Connor, I knew when he was getting fourth, fifth round, that mm. he can keep on going like that. He can keep on working. It, it was um, when the fight got announced, it was. Um I wasn't say surprised, but it's just like the obviously his experience of, of twenty odd fights and then and yours uh, is like five. Um, was, was it an easy fight to take for for, for both of you? Obviously, as his manager, or you know, did you think twice or? Because he's very experienced, a very good fight. Um, I didn't think twice at all, and that's obviously no no disrespect to him. Um, and on paper, the twenty odd fights he's got as a as a pro, but if you look back at my amateur career, and obviously only had five fights as a pro at the time, but I've been boxing a lot longer than than, than he has, and I boxed at a, a higher level in the amateurs. He didn't have no amateur background, so. Mm -hmm. I knew that that would stand me in good stead, like good stead for that fight. Um, so when he got, when he when he put it to me, I was like, let's, let's go, let's have it. When did you actually get the first um, so notification that you could, you know, that the fight had been ordered or, or recommended by? It was in Asia, wasn't it? It was in um, June or something, wasn't it? Yeah. So obviously I managed. I got offered the fight and spoke to Sid first. Sid's the coach. Yeah. Right? Sid was We was all confident. Yeah. He can come yeah. in at that level. And, um, yeah, so we took it and it got cancelled. Yeah, the first, first day was the 24th of July and then mm. we just kind of went back and back and back and back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a, a long kind of training camp, but it was all kind of, for me, building up to, to a big performance. Did you think you could stop him, though? Um, Leading up to fights, obviously, you picture in your head all, all different types of scenarios. I pictured me stopping him, I pictured me going points, pictured him beating me, pictured him everything. So it was in my head, but I, honestly, I, I felt and I thought on the night it'd go points. I did think it, I would just outbox him and for it to go points, but when the pressure was on, um, I did feel like he was slowly, slowly kind of fading and. If I kept going at, at the pace and applying pressure, I f obviously I felt like I'd get him out of there, and, it, and I did. Yeah. yeah, there was a stage. I thought Boy Jones was brilliant, kind of a brilliant fight, yeah. nice. exciting style. And great fight. We've done great, but there was a point. It might have been into the fourth, and I looked at the corners. Connor was standing up, obviously stands up in between rounds, and wasn't really breathing heavy. And I think Boy Jones was feeling it a little bit. And yeah, that's when mm. Connor keep on going. That's, that's what I yeah. What What do you want next? Do you want a, you know um, another like defence, or are you, do you think you're ready enough for maybe a step step up to the English? To be honest, we've just got I let this man in and my coach kind of <coughs> have a discussion about what's 
going to be the next steps for me. Um, I trust them with everything, so I'm not, uh, I'm not worried about what they think I, I can do or what they think I'm ready for. So I'll just, I'll just listen to them. Um, whatever they decide, I'll go with. Yeah. So Myra Mills has got the English. Mm. Mm. More, more confident than the boxing Myra. Mm. There's no one really above him in the ratings. That Connor can't compete with. He's only a limited amount of fights, but he's good Connor, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, uh, lastly, we spoke off, briefly off camera, but obviously with the Craig uh, Woodruff fight, uh, yeah. you know, obviously you, you know, as mentioned off camera, like you didn't feel kind of um, great that night and a bit of an off night. Um, you know, is that something that uh, you maybe one day in the future kind of want to? Um, yeah, of course. Obviously, rematch. I want to kind of put put right um, the defeat. Um, massive, obviously, respect to Craig. He turned up on that night and he done a job on me. He, he beat the, the Connor that was in front of him. Um, but a lot of people around me kind of felt that that wasn't the right Connor on the night, um, but that's not taking away his performance, he, he done what he, he, he done what he done and mm. that's it, but he's obviously he's fifth or something, he's, he's a lot higher than me and I think he's knocking on the door for the British, so mm. I think I feel like he's that little bit more ahead of me, mm. so I don't think that, that fight's there just yet, maybe a year or two down the line or whatever, mm. then we'll see, but at the minute, he's a little bit more ahead of me, so I, I don't think that, that fight would do anything for him. As such. Yeah, yeah. Um, Maybe for the British in a few years. But it just goes to show yeah. as well that um, you know you, you you lost the fight, but you you know you come back and now on the southern area. So for yeah. people that like trying to protect their records, oh, uh, no, um, do it. It just, just shows that you can come back. Yeah, no, it. that's it. 100. I, I don't um, I don't regret that one bit. I'm I'm happy it happened um, because the. The lessons I learned from that that fight um, put me in good stead for my next fight against obviously Shoot Greener and then for the title fight against Boy Jones. But I feel like if, if I didn't go through what happened in the Woodruff fight, mm. I pro possibly would have maybe lost one of them fights. Um, I learned so much in that, and I, I say to any kind of up and coming pro, don't be scared, just do it. When you look at all the the ratings now, everyone's got a loss or two losses or three losses. Yeah, yeah. And losing is nothing. You just it's all about how you come back from it and the lessons, lessons that you learn. Awesome. Okay. Um, anything you want to either want to add or do you want to shout out, shout out social media? Or uh, yes. Box? Follow me on uh, Instagram Marsden nineteen ninety four. Um, Twitter Colin Marsden ninety four. I think. Um, yeah. Also, just like to say, massive. Thank you to everyone who come obviously on, on the fight. The support was amazing. Massive thank you to my coaches, uh, my sparring partners, my manager, um, and also my sponsors. Um, you guys helped me out so much. So I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to you. Adam? Oh, I'm not great, so it's all about him. And <laughs> <laughs> all right, cheers, thank you.